emojis. Okay, glad you came back. So today, I'm kind of celebrating um, my, I guess, 2K subscriber celebration. So I wanted to do something special. So I looked in the freezer and I had a suckling pig. So we're going to do a suckling pig today. Hope you enjoy it. Was it, was it a perfect cook? No, it wasn't. Uh, but it turned out all right. And now you're going to see how I did it. I'm not going to do a mukbang on it. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to be honest with you. I'm going to have to cut this up, put it in the freezer and eat it as time goes by because I'm the only one in the house that will eat this as it is. Why? Because the peanut gallery cannot eat anything that's looking back at them. Even if I cover the face up and give them a piece, they have a problem with it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have uh, a little piece of the skin. And then I'll give you a little look. But let me get some skin. Crunchy. Taste that skin and a little bit of meat. Oh, um, that's good. That's real good. I'm gonna have some more. Wish you guys could be here to eat this with me and celebrate. Because even though it's a good celebration, I'm doing it by myself. So you know what you know. Mm. That skin, crispy. Amazing. But let's get to it. Yeah. Hey, this is Charles Chiron. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. So what we have here, um, let's call it Charlotte. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna call it Charlotte. Or if you want, you can call her Babe. Doesn't matter what you call her, she ain't gonna come to you because she's deaf. All right? We're having a suckling pig. We're gonna make some lechon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it on my modified uh, smoker that I converted into a rotisserie. You've seen it before, but now I'm gonna put a pig on it, uh, a small pig. Like I say, she's only like 15.8, 16 pounds or so, right? And we're gonna put it in the work. So here she is. Just pick her up here for you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, calm down, girl, calm down. You're gonna get your turn. Look at this. Yeah. Oink, 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 oink. Yeah. Now, I had to do this. While well, Mama Charles at work because she doesn't want to eat none, even though she loves ham. She doesn't want to see it spinning. She doesn't want to see it roasting. She doesn't want to see it cooking because she don't like, well, actually none of the peanut gallery likes any food that can look back at them when it's being prepared or eaten. So before we get to that, let me go ahead and get the veggies ready. And then we're gonna get the, the grill ready for it. Well, the rotisserie. And we're gonna get this bad boy going. Stay tuned, I hope you enjoy it. All right, so now for the veggies and the seasonings, uh, what we're gonna use, we have some salt, kosher salt, black pepper. We have some green onions or spring onions here. We have lemongrass. I pound it to release the natural oils and flavor. Turn this here so you can see it. I have red onions, right? I have white onions. And this is all the taste. However you want to pack it, depending on the size of your pig, it's up to you. I have ginger here because you know I like the taste of ginger. Garlic, we have about 15 garlic cloves that I chopped up. And then I have three Thai chilies, okay? Because I want just a little bit of heat um, as it cooks, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and set this up and we're gonna stuff it. Just set my salt and pepper mixture up. Oh, 
go. Pepper up. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now what we want to do, I added some salt and pepper. I mixed my salt and pepper here. And we're going to make sure we cover the inside of the cavity. Okay. Make sure you rub it in. And what's going to happen is as it cooks, the salt is going to give it that familiar bacon taste. Okay. Now we're going to put our spit together here. Okay, so the way the butcher cut it, you know, it's I want this to go through the mouth, the spit, okay? And then the forks are going to go right through the rib cage area and into the shoulder and the arms. I'm going to tighten this up. And this back one here, lift the legs up, and it's going to go through the legs, the hams, right? Get to go through the hams, lock it down. And then the back forks are going to go through the hams on the outside. through the skin, tighten it down. Now we're going to start stuffing this bad boy before we put the uh, tongs on the outside of the head. So what I want to do is I want to add the ginger, the ginger in here, the garlic, Okay. The chilies in there, you know, give them some space between each one. The onions. And we're going to be stitching this up so you don't have to worry about it. Red onions. Got to put the lemongrass in there. Make sure the lemongrass goes in. Green onions go in. Pack it tight. Add the rest of the salt and pepper. Now we're going to take our twine and we're going to stitch it up. We need a long, probably a good six feet of twine probably. 
So I, I want to make sure this is stitched up quite nicely. Got my trussing needle, just like you'd have when you're doing a turkey. Just gonna tie a little knot here. Okay. I'm gonna close them up here. You know, the way the butcher cut this is gonna make it difficult, but we'll get it. Don't worry about it, we'll get it. <clears throat> It'll be closed up quite nicely, don't worry about it. I mean, it won't be completely sealed because of the way they cut it, but it'll be good enough. Now let's go ahead and tightly uh, stitch the rest of this guy up. And I'm going to be going probably a good, you know, inch from every knot. Maybe an inch and a half, closer to an inch though. Okay, now I'm going to take this fork, put it through, secure it in, okay, now I'm going to take this twine, and what's left of the twine, we're going to tie the legs. To the spit. Okay. All right. Just tie it around like a racing form, a racing stance, if you will. the hoof. Right. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh. My bad. The legs, so you can see me do the legs. Okay, the legs are this guy here. Tie him to the spit. Down, round. This guy. Back. Tight, tight.
I'm not happy with that tightness, so I'm gonna do another knot here. Now I can secure the other part of the spit here. Okay, now the last thing I want to do is we're going to be adding some soy sauce to the outside. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take our soy sauce, just rub it on the skin. The salt from the soy sauce is going to help crisp up the skin. And the soy sauce itself is going to give it that nice red color as it cooks. That's what we want. Let's turn them over. Okay, now let's get the grill ready. Now I'm gonna put this on the grill. Um, it's going to be a indirect cook, really, because I'm just gonna move the charcoal to one side. And after about 30 minutes, we're gonna put some canola oil on it. It's gonna help prevent it from burning, hopefully, because this is a modified grill. It's not, it wasn't built for this, but I made it to accommodate something like this. So we'll see how it goes. And then every 30 minutes after that, we're gonna keep going. We're probably looking at a cook time anywhere between three to five hours, depending. You just have to watch it and see and check the temperature. So let me get the smoker going. And while that's going, this is going to be drying out. All right, so it's been the first half hour. As you can see, it stopped spinning. So we got like a little burn action here. But we're going to uh, spray it down, get it rubbed down, get a good spray first. Canola oil. Okay, now we're gonna give it like a little wipe. Just to rub it in, so there's no puddles of oil. We don't want that. And this is gonna help prevent it from getting too dark too fast. Okay. Okay, we got another half hour, and we'll be back. All right, we're about two hours in. That's what we got. Not bad. Two hours in, the tune, my boy. Yeah. We still working it. Mmm, quite nice quite nice. Let me give me some snaps here. Mm. Okay, a little top action. We recovered nicely. Okay, now 
we need to prepare the banana leaves. Now, the banana leaves, you're gonna get them most times, you know, frozen uh, in either your Asian market or your Latino markets, right? Might be plantino leaves, plantain leaves, you know, banana leaves, but that's what you want. So now to make them, uh, once you thaw them out, once to make them more, uh, I guess, pliable, you wanna heat them up. So if you have a gas range, just, you know, run them across the gas range, right? It'll get a little softer, a little shinier. Or if you have a blowtorch, use your blowtorch, right? It'll kill some of the bacteria as well. Um, but if you have electric range, I wouldn't suggest putting it on the range, on the electric range. No, you need flames for this. Now, having said that, let me do some of this for you. And now, you only need one package of banana leaves. They come in like a one pound package. You only really need one. You get more than enough. So let's get to that. And I'm gonna do some of these. Oh, looks like I'm out of fuel. I'm gonna have to do it the long way. So now I'm just gonna take my leaves on the flame, just run them across. All right? Just run them across. And you don't really have to do this, but I just let myself get in the habit of doing it. Right, it's going across. You're not trying to burn it. Just trying to make them where they're a little, a little more supple. You know, easier to control. But since you're just laying them down straight, you really don't have to do this, this step, really. All right. All right, let's start getting our pig together. Ooh, wee. Yeah. Mm hmm. About to get in, which uh, to get in. Where you at, Trips? I'm the only one that's gonna be eating this, so a lot of this might go to waste. Damn shame. Look at this. Man. Where you at, brother? Come on. Where you at? So here we have it. Yep. My rotisserie little suckling pig. Yeah. Yep. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Hey, if you're not subscribed, hey, subscribe. Join the peanut gallery. Look, well, you got the little belt there, a little waistband. Anyway, uh, also, we're not connected on Instagram. Go to Instagram, put my name in, Shraw Shraw. Look for the great cat and let's connect. That being said, look at this crispiness. Listen, I got to get into it. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can crack some. Oh. Ooh. Hope you like this. Enjoy your day.